television company Western Armenia represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. The independence of the state of Armenia was de facto recognized on January 19, 1920. Strategy of the Republic of Western Armenia, 10-day seminar lecture. January 20 as the 46th anniversary of Asala. The Republic of Western Armenia condemning the incident in the Church of Urfa. Weather anomaly in Western Armenia. The Lake Childer melts prematurely. A landslide in Sasun, Western Armenia. Ranting was killed on this day of 2007. In February 1919, the two Armenian delegations in Paris, the Armenian National Delegation on behalf of the Armenians of Western Armenia, the delegation of Boros Nubar, and the Armenian Republic headed by Aveti Saharonyan, introduced themselves to the Ellis, asking them to recognize the national demands of the Armenians. The Foreign Minister of France, Pichon, offered the Armenian delegation to prepare a memorandum. On February 12, 1919, the Memorandum of Armenian Demands was presented with the following content. Recognition of an independent Armenian state by uniting seven Armenian states, Cilicia, and the territory of the Armenian Republic of the Caucasus. On January 19, 1920, the heads of the two Armenian delegations, Bogos Nubar and Aveti Saharonyan, convened an assembly, where they were informed that the decision of the Paris Peace Assembly de facto recognized the independence and sovereignty of the Armenian state, including Western Armenia. The recognition of independence was formulated as follows. The Supreme Council of the Ellis announces in a statement that it de facto recognizes the government of the Armenian state as a government. It is decided that recognition does not solve the issue of the borders of the Armenian state. A 10-day training seminar organized by the Parliament of Western Armenia will start on January 20 in the Yerevan office of Western Armenia. The topic of the seminar is the strategy development of the Republic of Western Armenia. The President of the Republic of Western Armenia, Armenak Abrahamian, will deliver a speech during the seminar. Members of the Parliament and the Government of the Republic of Western Armenia will take part in the lectures. We will be in Yerablur on the occasion of the 46th anniversary of Armenian Secret Army for the liberation of Armenia at 3 p.m. on January 20. Announcement. A memorial service will be held at the Yerablur Pantheon Asala Mertris Memorial on the occasion of the 46th anniversary of founding of the Armenian Secret Army for the Liberation of Armenia, followed by a flower-laying ceremony at the Monument of the Missing Freedom Fighters in memory of the heroes killed in the Artsakh War at 3 p.m. on Wednesday, January 20. Freedom fighters of the Armenian Secret Army of Liberation and former political prisoners will attend the ceremony. The youngest member of the Mother Sea H.P. Shop Voskan Galpakyan will serve the requiem service. The Republic of Western Armenia condemns the shameful initiative of a cook named Yusuf Jan Guchtekin of lighting a fire and making a barbecue at the historic Armenian Asvazazin Church in Urfa, Western Armenia. Guchtekin comments that his aim was drawing attention to the deplorable state of the church. Meanwhile, it was nothing more than an insult to the church and to Christian faith. It should be noted that every effort should be made to protect the historic Asvazazin Church, to renovate and reopen it as a Christian place of pilgrimage. Let us remind you that the church is regularly subjected to the destruction by thieves and is in a worse condition day by day. The other spiritual structure next to it has completely disappeared. Lake Childer of Childer region Ardahab, Western Armenia, that was frozen, has started melting as a result of the wind and warm air. Residents of the region, surprised by the melting, describe the situation as a sign of a judgment day. The Lake Childer, second with its size after Van, whose surface had been covered with ice of 50 cm for a week, has been melting. Regardless of the weather change, there is a beautiful scene in the lake. A landslide occurred on the road leading to Haibel village, Sasun, Western Armenia. Rocks weighing hundreds of kilograms that fell down due to the landslide blocked the road. Citizens noticed the closed road only in the morning. The villagers cleaned the 4-kilometer road from giant stones and reopened it for traffic. Today marks the 40th anniversary of the assassination of the chief editor of the Armenian August newspaper published in Istanbul, Rand Dink. Dink was a journalist in a country where open-minded journalists are persecuted. He was persecuted by the nationalists as a peace fighter. Dink was born in 1954 in the city of Malatya, Western Armenia. He moved to Constantinople with his family in 1961. He grew up in the Gedik Pasha Armenian Orphanage where he and his wife Raquel Dink would run Camp Armen for years. He was sentenced to half a year in prison based on the Article 301 of the Turkish Penal Code. 
Dink was persecuted especially for his publications about Islamized and hidden Armenians. The revelation about the Armenian origin of Ataturk, the sole child of Ataturk, and Turkey's first female pilot Sabiha Gyokce were especially sensational. Dink's assassination caused a wave of protests in Turkey and abroad. Thousands of people were in the streets in defense of Dink under the slogan I am Armenian, I am Hrant Dink. The International Foundation after Hrant Dink was established in 2007. The foundation organizes an international awards ceremony every year on Dink's birthday, September 15. A street in the French city of Marseilles and a school in Paris were named after Dink. Now we present you Naviral Tagayrk Anmer Hokiner by Sassoon. <laughs> version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.